How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slap Ham. So today we've got something a little bit special. It's some bonus content for the week. It's a massive compilation of some of the scariest YouTube videos we've ever seen. So sit back, relax and enjoy. For millions of people all around the world, going to church is a weekly activity that connects them with their spirituality. This next clip was aired on EXN, a paranormal TV show in Mexico. The footage starts off normal enough, showcasing a large church full of people gathered around and singing. But little do these churchgoers know that they may have been joined by something not of this world during their usual Sunday gathering. Take a look at what the cameras caught. A mysterious glowing white figure can be seen sitting amongst the crowd. What's particularly interesting here is that nobody in the group seems to notice the strange figure sitting with them. Given the setting, many viewers have dubbed this figure an angel. The fact that it's pure white and looks to be glowing has left many people in awe that this congregation may have been graced by the divine. But as always, I'll throw this out to you, the viewer. What do you think's been captured on camera here? Let me know down below. The following video was featured on Fox 2 St. Louis and tells the story of a man named Doug Lewaders and his son Kyle, who was a football player for the local youth team in Fenton, Missouri. Sadly, Doug's son Kyle passed away at the young age of just 20 after getting into a car accident with a truck on Highway 40 at Winghaven. He was on his way to a game he was scheduled to play that day. Months later, a man named Brian Roth was taking a photo of his grandson and his teammate at the exact same football field that Doug's son Kyle was headed to when he got into that fatal accident. All seemed perfectly fine at first until Brian took a look at the photo. As you can see, there's a strange white figure to the left of the boys. Upon seeing this, Brian was equal parts fascinated and a little freaked out simply because he had no idea what was happening in the photo. So he submitted it to Fox 2 St. Louis who covered the story. When Doug saw the story, he and the rest of his family became convinced that the figure seen in the photograph was that of Kyle, hovering over the field and giving it his watchful eye. So could this really be Kyle's spirit hanging out at the football field that he loved so much? While there's no way to prove this for sure, if it gives Doug and his family some peace of mind, then that's all that matters. The following clip was uploaded by the YouTube channel Church of Christ for the Family and was recorded back in June of 2012. The footage in question was taken by a man who was filming his daughters inside the church. As the two girls sing and the rest of the churchgoers clap along, something strange seems to happen right in front of the videographer. Take a look. An almost transparent figure appears to move in front of the camera. The church believes that the figure is an angel visiting their place of worship. In the description of the video, the church says that the man filming was not only able to see this apparition in the video screen, but that he also saw it with his naked eye, confirming that there was indeed something there. Is this genuine footage of an angel roaming the halls of a church, or is there another way to explain the sighting? In 2018, a Michigan couple were relaxing at home when they got an alert from their home security system that movement had been detected out the front of their home. When they checked the feed, they were puzzled by what they saw. Homeowner Glenn Thorman was stunned to see something hovering over his truck.
The bizarre image prompted Glenn and his wife, as well as their pastor, to believe that an angel paid them a visit in the middle of the night. The Fox News team who covered the story spoke to Pastor Don Piper about the strange image. A number of years ago, Piper was in a car accident where he believes he actually died and visited heaven, then returned back to earth after being resuscitated. Pastor Don Piper believes Thorman's image does indeed show an angel, and that angels are around us more than we'll ever know. According to Piper, when he died, he was carried by a large number of angels up to the gates of heaven. And if the story is true, then his confidence that there was an angel in Thorman's driveway does make for a fascinating conclusion. So what do you think? Is this really an angel? Love to hear your take on the image in the comments section down below. Seven-year-old Asher Lyles from Texas loves to play around with his mum's phone. Asher and his family were on a plane flying back to Houston after visiting relatives in Washington. Asher got bored in the middle of the flight and asked his mother Kerry if he could take photos with her phone. The family thought nothing of it. While she was scrolling through her son's photos, Kerry noticed all of them were normal, except for this one. As you can see, there's a cloud that resembles a person with open arms. Kerry uploaded the photo to her Facebook profile. Friends and family were stunned at the strange image. Kerry believes that the figure floating around in the sky is Ash's guardian angel, saying that he's always had something watching over him and protecting him. Asher has Down syndrome and his mother believes he's always had a sixth sense when it comes to people needing a comforting hug or a big smile. She says that she'll never know the definite truth behind the image but is taking comfort in her beliefs and says that she was just happy her son was able to find some joy in his photos. This video was uploaded to the YouTube channel Scott Nuber Official in December of 2015. It shows a large sermon taking place in a church in Pretoria, South Africa. Everything seems fairly normal until around the two minute mark when the cameras catch something odd in the crowd. It looks as though a large array of white glowing figures are standing amongst the other churchgoers. Some commenters have said that this is just a bunch of people dressed in white which is making the camera pick up on it brightly. But that doesn't seem to be the case as there are other people in the same room wearing white that aren't glowing in any way. Most people in the comments section, however, praise the Lord, firmly believing that this is a sign from God. So what do you think? Is this a camera glitch or is something divine playing out before our very eyes? Take another look and decide for yourself. In mid-2013, 19-year-old Katie Lentz was driving along Route 19 near Center, Missouri when she was struck head-on by a drunk driver traveling in the opposite direction. Lentz was pinned in the front seat of her convertible. When emergency respondents arrived, Lentz's vital signs were declining rapidly. She asked the officials to pray with her, when suddenly a man who appeared to be a Catholic priest appeared out of nowhere despite a two-mile perimeter blocking the scene. This strange man approached the wrecked vehicle and began to pray. A member of the rescue crew said that when the man was praying, there seemed to be a complete calmness that fell over the entire scene, putting all their minds at ease and making them feel more comfortable despite the dire situation. What's perhaps even more interesting is that allegedly the firefighters that arrived on the scene said that their equipment was strangely not working but as soon as the mysterious man appeared and started praying, their equipment suddenly started to work again. Eventually, Lentz was able to get out of the dangerous wreck. However, when she went to thank the priest for his prayers, he was nowhere to be seen. The disappearing priest was so puzzling that local authorities had a sketch artist draw up an image based on descriptions from witnesses at the scene of the accident. 
This fascinating and intriguing story captured the attention of thousands of people when it was picked up by national news coverage. Those who saw the story couldn't help but wonder who the mystery priest was and how he managed to help Lentz in the face of danger. Regardless of who he is, Lentz can take comfort knowing that if she ever finds herself in a similar situation in the future, her strange guardian angel may just appear out of nowhere and help her again. In May 2021, Coventry local Rebecca Glassborough took a group photo with her friends and thought nothing of it. However, when they later reviewed the photo moments later, they were all shocked at what they saw. In the picture, we see the group of friends posing together. On the left side of the photo, we see what appears to be a blurry looking woman with dark hair and a grey face, hovering just above one of the friends. Glassborough emphasised that this was not an individual who was part of the group. After spotting the figure, the group explored the apartment for any signs of what the face could be, but found no reasonable explanation. There were rumours in the neighbourhood that a woman had died in the bathroom of the apartment that this photo was taken in. Without knowing how to explain the strange figure in the photo, Glassborough admits to having a few sleepless nights, wondering whether there's some kind of ghostly presence in her apartment. So could this ghostly figure be the very woman who passed away in the apartment? While there's no clear answer, hopefully the photo's owner can solve the mystery and get some sleep soon. While attending a ghost tour of a famous former slaughterhouse in the village in Mansfield, Nottinghamshire, visitor Tanya Copeman felt a sudden urge to snap some pictures while down in the dark cellar. In the photo, we can see the cellar covered in a bright green carpet. A door stands in the middle with a sticker of an alien on it. But the creep factor gets cranked up to 100 when we look at the far right of the image. While initially hard to see, we can make out a terrifying ghoulish face staring directly into the camera upon closer inspection. The photo's owner didn't initially notice the dreadful looking face until later when she looked through her photos. At first, she thought the eyes of the figure were simply two bright white lights. Of course, this all changed when she saw the outline of a face. The couple then contacted the tour guide who double checked CCTV footage of the cellar and confirmed that no one else had been in the room with the group when the photo was taken. That's when the tour guide suggested that this could be a ghost of one of several monks who allegedly burned there hundreds of years ago. He even tried recreating the photo to see if he could catch the presence again, though he was unsuccessful. Historians say that an old barn once stood on the property. Prior to the 19th century, it was said to be used as a hideout for monks seeking refuge. One day, the barn was set alight and seven monks perished in the blaze. Interestingly, Tanya had said that she felt her face go hot when she first entered the basement, even before knowing about the priests who had burned there. She believes the burning sensation is connected with what's been caught on film, and that there's no other way to explain what had happened besides referencing the paranormal. Now if all this sounds familiar, it's because we featured footage from the village in Mansfield just a few weeks ago. The clip we shared shows an eerie smoke blowing through the property. This was captured by a CCTV camera during a seance conducted by full-time paranormal investigator Lee Roberts. He too referenced the tragic fire that took the lives of several monks. So given the evidence, is something supernatural really happening at this old heritage listed building in Mansfield? User Small Bees uploaded this eerie photo to our Slaptam subreddit. They took their nephew to the Kima Boardwalk in Texas for a fun night out. In the pic, we can see a large splash pad area, with the Redditor's nephew looking down in the middle of the frame. To the immediate right of the child, there's a strange shadow. If you zoom in, there's even what looks to be a partially formed leg.
Small bees said they took numerous photos that night and they all seemed normal, except for this one. Most other Redditors were creeped out by the photo and were sure that this was evidence of something otherworldly. One viewer did say that this could be a case of motion blur. Perhaps the original poster had captured another child in motion who appeared blurry on camera. The original poster disputed this, showing another photo of a child running in the same area. While there is a little bit of motion blur in this second image, there are definitely no dark shadows near the children. While there's no way of knowing for sure what's been captured in this image, the dark shadow and the partially formed leg does make one's mind wander into the realm of the paranormal. In 2016, the aunt and uncle of Redditor Caramel Watermelon were on a ghost tour of the Waverly Hills Sanatorium in Kentucky. The aunt diligently took photos of all the rooms they visited, just in case they caught something supernatural. Sure enough, in a dark, dusty room that was once used as a children's play area in the sanatorium, something showed up on film that wasn't there in person. In the eerie photo, we can see a large, empty room. In the back of the room, in the doorway, we can see a small, dark shadow. From a distance, it resembles a girl. Waverly Hills was opened in 1910 to house tuberculosis patients. At the time, the local area was being ravaged by tuberculosis or the White Plague. In 1914, a children's wing was added for not only kids suffering from tuberculosis, but also children whose parents contracted the awful disease. Over the years, it's been dubbed the most haunted location in the United States. The Redditor's aunt explained that in this particular room where the photo was taken, the children of the sanatorium would gather to play games. As such, many commentators on the photo believe that this is the ghost of a little girl who once played here. Some Redditors noted that the figure seems to have disproportionately short limbs. Given the morbid history of Waverly Hills Sanatorium and the years of suffering and death that have played out amongst the halls of the old building, it's possible that the spirits of former patients do indeed linger here. Reddit user Kirkster1986 captured a bizarre incident on film one night that he had to share with other ghost lovers on Reddit. On the 9th of May 2021, while taking a nap on the couch, the Reddit user's home security system detected movement in the living room. In the first picture, we see the Redditor lying down on his couch, sleeping. However, judging by the timestamp, a fraction of a second later in the second photo, the blanket has been lifted off the Redditor. On top of him is what looks like a crouching shadow figure. Here it is, zoomed in. There were plenty of theories as to what's happening in these photos. Some jumped to the idea that this figure was actually a succubus. These demonic entities have been noted in historic literature all around the world for centuries. Folkloric tales refer to a feminine supernatural energy that haunts men in their dreams. Typically, these entities sit on the dreamer's chest and suck the life force out of their victims. From Arabian mythology to Buddhist scriptures and European folklore, it's interesting that these disparate cultures all refer to the same supernatural entity. One that visits you in your dreams, sits on your chest and sucks the life out of you. So could these photos confirm a thread of truth running through the mythology behind the infamous succubus? Take another look and decide for yourself. Haunted hotels make for the perfect spooky outing. Reddit user CPlatz123 decided to get their fright on with a visit to Hotel Mead, a supposedly very haunted place in Montana. The building's history stretches all the way back to 1875, when it was first used as a courthouse. In the 1890s, it was transformed into a bustling hotel, where many of the town's big events and socials were held. 
The hotel was made into a makeshift hospital when epidemics hit the city, including smallpox and typhoid. In the 1940s, all the townspeople left the city, leaving the building abandoned. Fortunately, Montana State Parks decided to renovate the building and present it as a visitor's center. Nowadays, visitors and workers on the building alike have reported countless sightings of all types of strange manifestations, with most of them believed to be previous residents of the hotel. In the photo shared to our Slaptam subreddit, we can see a room on the hotel's second floor. On the right side of the door frame, we can see a strange strand of curly blonde hair. The Redditor explained that in 1916, a young girl named Dorothy Dunn had drowned in the hotel pool, and her spirit is said to haunt the second floor. The uploader said that they took the photo because they're fascinated by old-fashioned doorways that have internal windows on them for airflow so they grabbed a quick snap, thinking nothing of it. Some commenters thought the girl's hair looked too vivid to be a ghost, and that there was probably just another person in the room when the photo was taken. However, the OP insists that the room was empty when they walked by and snapped the photo. So could this be a glimpse of Dorothy Dunn's spirit, or is there another way to explain the photo? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. there's someone at the door, and it's not your long-awaited delivery. Reddit user VeggieShite420 captured something with an accidental Snapchat picture that's been making people want to bleach their eyes out. In the image, we can see the Redditor's living room. Take a look at the doorway on the right-hand side. Here we can make out what looks like a dark figure wearing a white sweater and black pants. The head of the figure looks like it's sunken down into its torso. Take a look at this brightened version of the image. It's worth noting that the Redditor didn't seem to notice this horrifying figure at first. In fact, they posted the image asking about two small lights on the left side of the photo. In the pitch black under the window frame are what resembled two bright eyes looking inside the home. Most people shrug this off as either lights from an electronic device or an animal. Instead, they were far more interested in the freaky floating figure in the doorway. So what do you make of this unsettling photo? Love to hear your theories in the comments section down below. In late August 2020, two pilots on two separate commercial flights reported seeing something unusual flying through the sky. While approaching LAX at around 6.30pm, an American Airlines pilot radioed air traffic control to report an unidentified flying person at about 3,000 feet in the air. Listen to the call that was made. Tower, American 1997, we just passed a guy in a jetpack. American 1997, okay, thank you. Were they off to your left side or right side? Off the left side, uh, maybe uh, 300, uh, 300 yards or so, about our altitude. Then a pilot on Southwest Airlines also reported the sighting. Take a listen. We just saw the guy pass by us at the jetpack. The mysterious jetpack man continued to be spotted by commercial airline pilots over the span of several months. Then, in December 2020, visual confirmation was released by the Sling Pilot Academy via ABC7 News. A flight instructor managed to get some footage of the elusive jetpack man flying some 3,000 feet in the air. This took place around the Palos Verde Peninsula, just south of LAX. Local law enforcement and the FBI launched an investigation into the infamous Jetpack Man, sometimes referred to as Iron Man, but were unable to track down the individual. Then in July 2021, Jetpack Man struck again and was sighted for the fourth time flying near LAX. The puzzling thing is, there are only a handful of Jetpack manufacturers around the world, and almost all of them are not for sale to the public. 
Stranger still, most models available only have enough room for fuel to reach heights of around 1,000 to 1,500 feet, about half the height Jetpack Man was seen cruising at. One theory put forward is that it's actually a mannequin strapped to a high-powered drone. Recreational drone users, however, aren't legally allowed to fly higher than 400 feet. But I'm guessing if you're flying a mannequin near commercial aircraft, you're not exactly one to play by the rules. So as it stands, Jetpack Man remains unidentified. To all our Los Angeles viewers, you'll have to keep your eyeballs peeled for a sighting of a real-life Iron Man. And just a reminder, if you've got your own scary photos or videos you'd like to submit to us, head to our brand new Slapped Ham subreddit. There's a link in the description box below. You can also email us at the address that's seen on screen there, submissions at hammedia.net. When the weird guy in the tinfoil hat claims to have seen Bigfoot, you might be skeptical. However, when the National Park Service shares a potential Bigfoot sighting, you're probably more apt to pay attention. When this video from MPS.gov began circulating in 2014, cryptid enthusiasts around the world certainly took notice. The video was recorded via one of the many live webcams that the National Park Service streams from its various parks around the United States. This particular video was recorded on a webcam at Yellowstone National Park in Wyoming. They shared the video because it shows the arrival of buffalo in the park. However, the peaceful scene of the buffalo walking about in the snow is quickly overshadowed by something in the background. Take a look. In the trees just behind the buffalo, several bipedal animals can be seen walking along. The creatures are only seen in the distance for a few seconds before the camera turns away. Eagle-eyed viewers quickly spotted the unusual creatures in the background of the video, immediately labelling it as one of the most credible Bigfoot sightings in history. Bigfoot is one of the better known cryptids said to wander the forested areas in the United States and Canada. Bigfoot is typically described as much larger than a human and covered in dark hair, often believed to be the missing link in human evolution. Many scientists, however, claim that Bigfoot sightings are typically a case of misidentification. They believe that rather than a distinct creature, Bigfoot sightings are usually bears, apes, or ordinary humans. So is Bigfoot real, or simply a part of common mythology that will never actually be proven? This video seems to suggest the existence of an entire Bigfoot family. Unfortunately, we may never know the truth about the existence of one of the world's most famous cryptids. Typically, when you jump in bed, you assume you're safe and sound and that you can get a good night's rest. However, this video, which was filmed inside an elderly woman's bedroom via security camera, shows that that may not always be the case. In the video, we can see an elderly woman tucked up in bed when suddenly something terrifying happens. Take a look. In early 2019, 75-year-old Keo Sutsufa from Bangkok, Thailand was sleeping in her bed when a python managed to slither into her bedroom. As you can see in the CCTV footage, the snake rears up and bites Sutsufa on the foot.
Thinking she was having a nightmare, Sudsufa awoke with a fright. She grabbed her torch and scanned the room only to see a massive python coiled up on the floor. She managed to get past the snake and wake her son, Nakorn, who was sleeping next door. Local rescue workers were called in to help flush the snake out of the home. When they arrived, they found the python curled up on the toilet seat in the bathroom. It was captured, catalogued and released back into the wild some days later. Authorities were puzzled as to how the snake got into the home, speculating that it may have come up through the toilet. So when you're resting peacefully in your beds tonight, remember a giant python might just be slithering out of your toilet on a mission to digest you whole. Reddit user Seaworthiness number 8416 uploaded a video of some security camera footage that was filmed at the Jacksonville Beach Pier in Florida. Take a look at what was captured. Gotta get your finger out. Whoa! Of you Do see it? this? Yep. What is that? What in the world is that? It's just like hovering in. Pulsating. As you can see, a strange flashing object flies in from the top left-hand corner of the frame. I don't understand what is going on. That was a trip. Matt Bullock was the first person to notice the strange flying object in the footage when he reviewed the security tape. Yes, yep. The reactions heard in the clip definitely seem quite genuine, and they sound legitimately freaked out when they make the discovery. What is that? What in the world is that? It's just like hovering and pulsating. What? How? I don't understand what is going on. It's possible that this is simply a drone flying by and that the compression rate of the security camera is making it look a lot more mysterious than it really is. So until more info comes to hand, this strange flying object will have to remain unidentified. What? How? I don't understand what is going on. This video published to the Instagram account UFO Sightings Footage shows something truly unusual. Take a look. Sonic boom. Wow, the sonic wave is... Holy While there's a spectrum of theories breeding in the comments section of the Instagram clip, everything from Project Bluebeam to Alien Invasion have been suggested. This sighting is most likely one of SpaceX's Falcon 9 rockets. While all rocket launches create shock waves, this particular flight was unusual. On August 24, 2017, a Falcon 9 rocket was carrying one of Taiwan's former Sat-5 Earth observing satellites. Because the payload was relatively light, the trajectory of the rocket created a circular atmospheric shock wave as opposed to a V-shaped one. Let's see the first thing. Wow! Oh, oh, see that? The camera holder was definitely shocked to see the bizarre circular shock waves. Wow! Oh, oh, see that? Sonic boom. Wow, the sonic wave is... Holy A study into the incident found that the launch disturbed Earth's ionosphere so much that it affected local GPS navigation systems. Water in the rocket's exhaust system reacted with the ionosphere above California, ripping a hole in the plasma layer. For up to two hours, GPS coordinates were off by as much as one meter, potentially affecting commercial and military aviation navigation systems. And so, while this sighting is perfectly explainable, the intense circular shockwave certainly put local residents on edge, as initially they had no way of knowing the incident was due to a SpaceX launch. So how would you react if you saw this in the sky above your house? Let me know in the comment section down below. Oh, oh, see that? Sonic boom. 
Wow, the sonic wave is... Holy... The following video was posted to TikTok by a man named Carlos Ruiz. It's some security footage taken at a gym in an unknown part of Colombia. At first, nothing seems all that unusual about the clip as we see a man preparing to exercise. As the camera pans to the left, however, we can see a few cables on one of the exercise machines moving on their own. Now, keep an eye on the medicine ball in the bottom right hand corner. From here, things take a turn for the worse. As you can see, something seems to grab the man. He falls over, but his right leg stays in the air as if something's holding on to it. Frightened, he runs away. A second camera managed to capture the incident. Again, we can see the man fall over and something appears to grab his leg. This angle shows that there doesn't appear to be any wires or that the video has been manipulated in any way. The man even runs to the gym's reception area to report what's just happened. Naturally, these two clips have since gone viral, racking up millions of views with thousands of comments chiming in trying to solve the mystery. The majority of people have been shocked at just how genuine the footage appears. However, skeptics said it has to be wires or CGI. So what do you think's been captured in this gym in Colombia? Is it all just a well-orchestrated hoax? Or are we witnessing something paranormal? Love to hear your ideas in the comment section down below. The Norwood Hotel, located in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, is by all means a normal hotel that you would stay in for a few nights and not think anything of it. But this video, uploaded by popular paranormal investigation team, The Paranormies, proves that the hotel isn't as normal as it seems. There's a room in the hotel, room 313 to be exact, that's allegedly haunted. It's had many strange occurrences throughout the years. The Paranormies team heard a story about a woman named Christina that had stayed in room 313 at the Norwood Hotel back in 2008. She was in town for a convention, was only planning on staying at the hotel for a few nights. The first evening she was there, she awoke in the middle of the night, unable to move. She said she could see a strange man in the corner of the room, grinning at her. He put his finger to his lips and told her to shush. Unable to move, Christina could do nothing but watch this strange man staring at her. Six hours later, she woke up ill and violently threw up. There was no sign of an intruder and the door was still double locked. Startled, Christina called her boyfriend to explain what had happened. 
He thought perhaps she had suffered an episode of sleep paralysis and that the man was just a hallucination. The following night, Christina had a dream that a man was on fire floating just outside her hotel window. She woke with a fright just as the phone in her room rang. It was her boyfriend in hysterics saying that he had just had a dream that someone broke into her hotel room and did awful things to her. Freaked out, Christina grabbed her keys and left the room. She slept in her car for a few hours till the sun came up. Wanting to leave immediately, Christina headed back to the hotel to grab her things and drive home. When she arrived back at the hotel, it appeared as though the door to her room had been tampered with. The window was wide open and a few of her things were missing. She rang her boyfriend to explain what had happened and to thank him for calling the previous night, otherwise she may have stayed in the room for the entire evening. Confused, her boyfriend said that he didn't call her. They both checked their call history list and sure enough, no calls were made. Christina doesn't know how to explain what happened that night in room 313. In order to see for themselves how truly haunted the room is, the Paranormies decided to check into the hotel for the night to conduct a series of experiments. And as you'll see, things get increasingly more terrifying as the night goes on. During one section of the video, the team sets up a doll that's motion activated, having just changed the batteries. But whenever the cameraman waves his hand in front of the doll, strangely enough, nothing happens. The doll won't go off. Jordan. What? Come look. The cameraman says that the doll is normally motion activated and can't explain why it isn't working properly. Wow. Usually she doesn't shut up. Uh, what? You walk in front of me. Okay, hang on. Stay there. Flip it around. I want to just keep this in one shot to see. Well, what? There she goes. Well, but she's not making any She's noise. not making any noise. That is weird. She's not saying anything. Whoa. She's just not saying anything anymore. A couple of minutes later, the crew decides to bring an SLS device into the bathroom. Take a look at what they captured. This special device detects that there's a presence in the bathroom. That is really creepy. Yeah, just I'm looking the behind there. It's there's nothing there. There's nothing there. That's just like the, it's like sitting in the corner of the tub. You hiding? From here, the crew set up a series of motion activated balls and spread them across the hotel room. And sure enough, one of them turns on all by itself. You can touch any one of those. Obviously he's just dead. Oh, oh whoa. Whoa. Thank you. Scare. I didn't... Scare? Scare. I did not expect that. But perhaps the creepiest incident of the night happens when one of the crew members named Jordan walks past the mirror that is adorning the wall. Take a look at what was captured. Heavy. Heavy. Although he didn't notice it at the time, if you look closely, you can see that Jordan doesn't have a reflection in the mirror when he walks by. Heavy. Heavy. At first, you might think it's just the angle the camera's on. However, just moments later, another member of the team walks by the mirror and clearly has a reflection. I'm not exactly sure where it's coming from. It almost sounds like 
Yeah, like like water. The camera is showing the exact same angle as before. Later that night, while the crew members are sleeping, their REM pod and K2 devices proceed to give them an unexpected wake-up call. While these devices being set off is creepy enough, something else happens in the room that is a little more unsettling. Let's watch it again, but this time keep an eye on the right of frame. As you can see, a shadowy figure seems to get on top of Jordan on the right. So given Christina's first-hand account and the bizarre video evidence that the Paranormies team captured, it would appear something very unusual is happening in room 313. But just what the root cause is remains unknown. Heavy. A woman from Barrowfield, Glasgow named Maxine Hughes was enjoying a typical day at home, relaxing and spending time with her two children. Maxine says that during her day, her partner was checking the surveillance camera footage outside their home, which is when they spotted something quite chilling in broad daylight. Take a look. What appears to be a strange black mass slowly moves its way across Maxine's yard before eventually disappearing without a trace. Maxine was so freaked out by what was captured on the security camera footage that she had to call a priest to bless her home from evil spirits. Maxine's neighbor, Debbie Michler John, saw the video as well and she too agrees that something is definitely not right. The clip understandably put the entire neighbourhood on high alert, as most of the town struggled to explain the strange floating black mass. Despite thousands of people watching the clip, there's been no logical explanation for the sighting. Simon Newcomb's YouTube channel currently has two videos published to it, one of which displays drone footage that he took while on a brisk day in January of 2020. The other video, however, proves to be a little more mysterious. This particular video was not filmed by Simon himself, but rather a friend of his daughter's, and for the first little while, it seems as though they're having an average rainy day outside. The group are walking through Wisman's Woods, located in Dartmoor, Devon, England. It's said to be a place of much interest in the area. Although Wisman's Wood has never been 100% proven to be haunted, the origins of its name are quite interesting and creepy. The name Wisman's Wood is said to derive from the old British dialect word wished, which means eerie, uncanny, or haunted. Legend has it that a pack of hellhounds once roamed the woods. They had blood red eyes, enormous fangs, and an insatiable appetite for human flesh. The woods themselves look like something out of a fairy tale. The trees are all twisted and gnarled. There are boulders carved with ancient symbols scattered around the park. It's within this mysterious setting that the following video was captured. Take a look. Pushing it down. These two are doing my head in. It's getting dark. It's really dark. I have no idea where the dog is. What? It can be hard to spot at first, but at around the 11 second mark, just behind the camera holder, a strange shadow can be seen ducking behind a log. Doing my head in. It's getting dark. It's really dark. I have no idea where the dog is. What? 
Here it is again in slow motion. It's hard to say what exactly this dark figure is, but given the ancient history of the woods and its haunted reputation, one's mind does wander into the realm of the paranormal. It's getting dark. It's really cold. I have no idea where the dog is. What? If you're well versed with horror folklore and urban legends, I'm sure by this point you've heard of the infamous La Llorona, or the Weeping Woman. This entity exists in Latin American folklore, and is a spirit who allegedly roams waterfront areas mourning her deceased children who tragically drowned. If you hear loud screeching noises anywhere outside, it's believed that you may have accidentally encountered La Llorona herself and Nathan channel on YouTube might have been one of those unlucky people. In the video, Nathan, who's a security guard at an undisclosed building, is walking around the area late at night when he starts to hear some awful sounds in the distance. The guard explores the area but can't seem to find the source of the strange crying sounds. So is this the infamous La Llorona herself? Or is it someone in genuine distress? If it is, why can't he find a single person anywhere nearby? The Lamb and Lion pub located in High Petergate, York seems on the outside to be an average pub. However, on the inside, there's something a little more eerie taking place in the Grade 2 heritage listed building that dates all the way back to the late 18th century. One night, pub owner Lee David Smith was reviewing security tapes when he noticed something on the CCTV cameras that shocked him. Take a look. Upon first glance, the security camera video appears to contain nothing out of the ordinary. As we watch, an employee cleans up various tables in the pub. But if you look in the corridor at the end of the dining area, you can make out what appears to be a small child. Lee says that at the time of the incident, the employee had no idea that anyone was there, but when he called her over to take a look at the footage, she was absolutely petrified. There were certainly no children around when the footage was taken. Lee also says he doesn't necessarily believe in ghosts, but admits this particular incident is making him less of a skeptic. To this day, Lee and other pub employees have never gotten to the bottom of what exactly happened that day. Some locals believe that a child passed away on the premises, and that this is the child's spirit trapped inside the old pub. As always, I'll throw this out to you, the viewer. What do you think's been captured in this strange CCTV footage? Love to hear your theories in the comments section down below. Now, if you're enjoying our longer compilations, then check out that one on the top there. Otherwise, there's a massive paranormal playlist here you can binge on for hours and hours. Leave us a comment down below, pulverize that thumbs up button as usual. And that's it for me, I'll see you all next time.